Hi guys, welcome back and good afternoon from a sunny Dubai. Today I have a 10 minute flexibility video for you, so it is just stretching of the shoulders and the upper body. The last video I did like this has been going very well and you guys are requesting a little bit more of that. So we're going to bring a little bit more variation into your shoulder stretches today. That being said, you are going to need one resistance band. You can use a tea towel if you need to or if your arms are a little bit less flexible, grab a big towel. And let's get started. So we're going to start off guys with your resistance band or your tea towel or actual towel. Um, we're going to grab the band or the towel from each side. A little bit of a tip, the closer in you are, the harder it's going to be. So if you have more flexible shoulders, you can afford to bring it a little bit tighter. If your shoulders are a little bit more stiff, just bring the hands a little bit further out. From here, just bring the feet hip with distance apart. Keep a soft bend in the knees. Keep that tailbone just at a nice neutral position. And from here, we're just going to send the arms all the way up and above the head. Try not to bend the elbows as they go back. The first one's always the grossest, don't worry. <laughs> Round the back as it comes back and then slowly take it to the opposite side. So we're going to do this a few times. Just keep repeating for me. And as you do, just notice there's going to be like those sticky parts, right? There's going to be a part where you feel like, okay, I need to move a little bit faster here or the body wants to move faster that's where I want you to slow it down. So just thinking of these full, nice movements, just forwards and backwards, just greasing into the shoulders, just moving forwards and backwards for me. A little bit of retraction on the back, just to get a little bit more movement into the scalp. Good. We're going to take a few more. If it starts to feel a little bit easy, you can just bring the hands closer in on the band. Perfect. Just give me one more full round for me. So super nice and slow. Let the movement just come from the top of the shoulder heads. Perfect. Give me one more. Come all the way forward and back. And now this time, keeping the tailbone tucked under, as you take the arms back, there's going to be that spot where you're like, ooh, that's where I feel the stretch, and this is where I want you to hold it. So keep the knees soft. Keep the hip bones pointing forward. I want you to take a big breath in here. And then as you breathe out, just drop the left arm down towards the left hip. I know, I feel it too. Breathe. Keep the knees soft. Try not to twist towards the left. Keep the hips nice and straight. Hold for two. And one. Bring it all the way back full center. Let's take it to the opposite side. So drop that right palm down. Oh, that feels a little bit more tough for me. You should feel it in the inside of that left arm, all down that left hand side. Now we're going to move from side to side like this. So keep the knees bent. This is our negotiation. Keep the gaze towards the floor. From here, you're going to drop the left palm down. So as if we're gazing towards the floor, left arm makes that full kind of circle. Left arm goes down, right arm goes up, length through the right side. I know, it feels fabulous. Keep going. So just rolling left to right. And just start to notice the little connections into the back, into the sides of the body, maybe even coming up underneath that scalp. You should be feeling it pretty much everywhere in the upper trunk. That's totally fine. And again, if you're not moving as much as me, it's fine. Just taking it wherever we are this morning. Good, give me one more round. And then slowly come all the way up. Beautiful. Take a second, shake it all the way out. And now I want you to come up to a wall for me. So a wall, you can come down onto your knees. You can use a sofa or a coffee table if you want to. Bring the hands onto the wall, palms flat for me. And from here, we're just going to go into some wall waves. So the closer the hands are, the more you're going to get into the upper back. I want you to sink the chest down. Keep the knees soft. Gaze towards the thumbs on an inhale. And as you exhale, tuck the tailbone down. Push against the wall and round few more times. The big breath in, dropping the chest, looking forward. And the exhale, tucking of the tailbone, rounding through the spine. A few more times. So just moving with the breath. And just notice with each and every kind of lift and sink, can you get a little bit more in towards that shoulder joint? Good. Give me a few more for me. So just trying to hit every single vertebra of the spine. Keep that connection to the wall. So I'll keep pushing into it for me. And the next time the chest drops and the gaze is up, hold it there. 
the gaze feels a bit gross being up, you can just bring it to a neutral neck. I know not everyone's as flexible. Keep the belly button in. Act as if you're pulling down on that wall. And now find the breath. Breathe in for five. For four, let the weight of the heart sink down for three. For two. And one, inhale to rise, come up, shake it off. Pins and needles, I know, I feel it. <laughs> so the next few ones, we're going to stay on the wall. Just get in a little bit into our pecs. So you're going to bring your right hand to the wall. Fingers point back for me. And then as you do, so the hips are in line with those elbows. I want you to just walk away from the wall. So we're adding a little bit of a twist, right? We're not sticking the butt out. We're not pulling it all the way in. Just keep kind of level with the body. And then from here, push into the right palm as much as you can. So if you're a hyperextender like me, or it might help for a lot of you to just bend the elbow, to pull that right shoulder blade down to get a little bit more stretch across the chest. And breathe. Knees soft, which I always forget. Good. Keep pushing into the wall. So we're using that energy to just shoot that stretch all the way in towards the chest. It might feel good to just drop left ear to left shoulder here as well. You might be able to feel all those nice connections from the chest and the neck. Good. Taking two more breaths. And then slowly bring it back. So release the twist, shake the arms up. And of course, what goes one way needs to go the other. So this time the left palm's on the wall. Wrist in line with the shoulder for me. And then slowly begin to walk towards the right hand side. So we're turning away from that palm. We're softening the knees. We're pushing the palm in towards the wall. And there's just that slight bend in that left elbow. And again, breathe in deeply. Keep trying to pull that left shoulder blade down the back. Taking a few more breaths. Super nice and slow. So letting the breath indicate to the body that it's okay to open humper. That it's okay to breathe. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. And then slowly bring it all the way back through center. Good. Give yourself a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a wriggle. And come on towards your mat. So we're going to make it down towards the floor in a second. But before we go there... We're going to take an inhale to raise the arms up. Big breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to cactus the arms, open the chest. A few more times. So inhale, just raise it up for me. Exhale as if you're pulling down on the bar. Open the heart. One more time. Big breath in. Lift it up. Exhale. Keep the knees soft. So keep a big bend into the knees. Now we want you to interlace the fingers behind you. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the heart up. Again, you can rock from side to side with the ears. Might feel nice for the chest. Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, bring the belly towards the thigh first and just send those arms up and above the head. So forget about the legs straightening. We're not here to stretch our hamstrings, right? It's all about the shoulders. So let the upper body get really heavy. Let the weight of the arms kind of do its work. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. Just try and send the fist towards the floor a little bit more. Breathe in deeply, breathe in fully. You can take a little bit of shake from side to side. Let the whole spine just decompress. Taking a big breath in, big breath out. And then slowly release the arms for me. And then come to sit down upon your glutes. So we've got two more stretches and then I shall leave you. So from here, I just want you to bring the hands behind you. First round, I want you to point the fingers back for me. Keep the knees bent, feet in towards the heels. Now from here, we're going to push into the palms, push into the heels, lift the hips up. We're going to send the hips towards the front of the mat as we slowly lower into the shoulders. So this is going to be very specific depending on how much range you've got in your shoulders. So options to completely stay here. If this is enough for you, awesome. Just breathe here. Try not to lose the neck. Keep pushing the floor away. If you need a little bit more, try and get the lower back on the ground, and you can actually straighten those legs. 
for me, I'm good with the legs bent for a second. And this is where the little bit of yoga comes in. So just start to concentrate on the breath. Try not to meet tension with tension. Instead, just trying to soften. Trying to breathe into the areas that are just screaming for our attention right now. Taking two more big deep breaths. Try and inflate the belly on an inhale. Retract on an exhale. And then when you're ready, we're going to push into the feet. And then slowly bring it all the way up. Coming back. Good. Give the elbows a bit of a shake if you need to. So round two is repeating that. Just the hands are going to be in a different uh, position. It's going to be a lot more intense for the tight the front of the shoulders. So please take your time with this one. So this time the fingers point back towards the glutes only. Feet come in, same entry and exit. You're gonna push through the heels, you're gonna lift the hips up, and then slowly, as you sink the hips down this time, soften the elbows to bring the lower back closer to the floor, it doesn't have to be there. And again, this one generally is more intense for the most part. Now trying to soften. Trying to let the breath tell the body that it's okay to be here. That it's okay to just create a little bit more space for us. Taking three more breaths for me. Thinking open and beautiful thoughts. Take one more breath, big breath in. Big breath out, and then slowly walk the feet back in for me. Push through the heels, lift everything up, take the butt back, congratulations. Good. Give it a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a roll, and there you have it. Your quick little shoulder stretch, perfect for times after the gym or when you just need a minute to create a little bit more space. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you all soon.